Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to go over how to use the trim function in AutoCAD. Very easy function. This one's going to be actually very useful and helpful. It's going to make everything a little bit quicker, a little bit more smooth. Um, again, I use this quite often, so let's get into the video. Okay, so the trim button does really one major thing. It allows you to clear out little pieces of a shape or an object or objects and shapes from a specific area that you don't want. It's more of a cleanup tool and a helpful tool, so you don't have to specifically say, I want this rectangle in front of here, or I want this shape in front of here, but I don't want it overlapping each other. So, for this example, we want to take this rectangle right here, and we want to get everything out of the middle, but we still want to keep the shapes connected and touching it. So, to use the trim function, we're going to go up here, we're going to click trim, left hand click, and you're going to bring it down. And before we go any further, you are automatically put in this quick mode. So quick mode is going to be a little bit more convenient, quicker, obviously, as the name states. But if you want to change that mode, you can go down below, and you can either type in mode or click this, and it will change you to either quick or standard. But for this example, we're going to stay in the quick mode as it is easier, and it's probably the one you're going to want to use in the first place. So to trim everything out of the center of this rectangle, we have clicked the trim button, and we have this little box now. So when we move this little box around the area or components that we want trimmed off, like this circle right here, it's going to give us this little red X, and then we're going to click the left-hand button on our mouse, and as you can see, it trimmed off the portion inside of the rectangle where it was touching the lines. So we can do that with all these little guys right here for this polygon. We'll miss a line right there. We can do that for these lines right here. And then for this polygon right here, we can do that and trim it off. And as you can see, everything is now clear from the center of the rectangle, but the shape itself still the shape itself still exists as if the rectangle was now on top of the shape. All right, so there are a couple different commands that we can use that make uh, trimming the trim function just a little bit easier on ourselves. And the first one we're going to go over is the cutting edges one. So what this allows us to do is it allows us, instead of individually selecting every single line to remove from an area, it allows us to just assume that we can create a cutting edge and everything in that line that we click that is connected to one another does not want to be there. So it's more of a, I guess, a bulk trim versus an individual trim. So for this example, we're going to go up here, click the trim function, and then we are going to go down here and we can either type in or we can click cutting edges. And we want to make this rectangle the cutting edge. So once we've clicked the rectangle, because we want everything out of the middle, we're going to click Enter. And now we can go over to our objects that are partially inside, and we can click them. So for example, this hexagon down here. In our previous example, we clicked that, and every single line that was in um, would have to be erased individually. There I clicked it, and the entire bit of it went away. So this other polygon up here, a little better of an example, we had to click it one, two, three, four, five times. Now we just click it once and it goes away. Now for the circle right here, a little bit different because it's obviously a continuous line. And right here, these are individual lines that I drew, so we're still going to cut them out like that. But past that, it makes it a little bit quicker and gives you a little bit more bulk trim. The second command you can use is the fence command. So the fence command. What you're going to do there is we're going to go back up to the trim function, press it, left hand click, and it's not available down here, but we're going to type in fence. So once we type in fence, we're going to click enter, and then it's going to ask us to draw a line. So this line is going to say everything above this line or in this line's path is going to be cut out. So right here, we have a line right here, and we are going to draw it right above because we want everything above this line gone. So what we're going to do start our point right here and we're going to bring it all the way over here press left hand click again then press enter and as you can see everything above that line or in that line's travel path was deleted all right so that's going to do it for the trim command uh, hopefully everyone learned something again you're going to want to use the quick command more often uh, subscribe to the channel if you like the video leave it a thumbs up down below if you have a better way of doing something, leave it in the comments section. If you have more to the trim command, leave it in the comments section as well. I'd love to learn new things. Uh, but past that, I uh, hope everyone enjoyed the video, and I hope everyone has a good rest of their day.